payments. This is an autograph manuscript, that's a manuscript in the hand of Isaac Newton, talking about his greatest work, the Principia. This is the work in which he reinvented our understanding of the universe. He's working here on a second edition of the Principia, revising, improving, expanding what he'd said in the first edition. He had a complex personality. And the year before this, in 1693, we know that he had a complete nervous breakdown. He suffered from bouts of paranoia. He couldn't sleep. Um, in 1694, when he was embarking on this, he was once again fizzing with, with, with the energy of one of the greatest minds the world has ever seen. And we can see that at work, the, the speed with which he's writing, the, the, the ferment of ideas coming out from his pen. So he was very stimulated by being able to work again on, on his greatest work. Which is why, actually, at the moment, we still so when staff are in the building. So when Keith gets here, he will have to go down to the vaults to, to take care. Can you get a bit? <laughs> you tend not to think of it because, you know, I think Newton's Principia changes the way people look at the universe. And there's nothing quite like it until Einstein's work into the 20th century. And it inspired a generation of mathematicians and natural philosophers to study the book. Adam regularly getting to work with Nobel Prize winners. Pretty good. I thank God for your ID. Good point. The second edition was deemed to be needed because of the reactions of other mathematicians to Isaac Newton's original work. Now, David Gregory, who, whose notes we, we know very well in this, uh, kept up a, a written dialogue with Newton. He met Newton, and, and that uh, uh, partnership almost between the two of them uh, resulted in refining Newton's thinking. And you get this in Newton's work. Uh, at the Royal Society particularly, uh, he, he argued tremendously with Robert Hooke and took umbrage with some of the things that Hooke was saying. But um, uh, being challenged like that was good for Newton. What it meant was his work got better.
The estimate is 600 to 900,000. To put that in context, 22 years ago, we sold one and a half lines from the Principia for 130,000 pounds. And that was the last time that any manuscript in Newton's hand about the Principia, about his greatest work, appeared um, on the market. So it's an incredibly important moment for collectors. What a collector in the autograph world is looking for is the greatest minds in history talking about their greatest achievements. It's very, very rare to have that combination. And that's what you have in this particular manuscript. What do I think about those large figures? Well, of course, it prevents institutions buying these things usually and placing them where I think they ought to be, where scholars can have access to them. Uh, but there is a market in these things, and uh, for Newton particularly, uh, the market is very buoyant. Absolutely. Okay, right. It'll be high. <laughs> 